If you want to add mods or plugins to your Aterna server, you're first going to have to make some changes to the software section before you can actually see the plugin option appear in the left hand side menu. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either head on over to the basic homepage and under software, go ahead and click on change or you can access the same page from the software button in the left side panel. You just go ahead and click on the change section right here. And now, as you can see, there are a bunch of different software installations that you can use for the Java edition of Minecraft. Now, depending on whether you want to use plugins or you want to use mods, you're going to have to pick your software installation accordingly. For example, if I go with Fabric, Quilt, Glowstone, Neoforge or Forge, I'm going to have to use mods and hence I will get a mod section underneath software. Otherwise, if I want to use plugins, which is the case here, we're going to have to use Paper, Spigot, Purple or Arclight. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead with Paper. So go ahead and click on whatever um, mod or plugin loader you want to use. And now we're going to have to pick a server or a version type depending on what version of Minecraft you are running. I'm using the latest Minecraft installation, which is 1.21.5 at the time of recording this video. So I'm going to go ahead with the latest version. So go ahead and click on it. This will open up paper MC. And uh, now you can see an install button right here. So go ahead and click it. We'll see the spinning gear icon and then a tick mark appear. And that's how you know that you've installed a paper MC for your return or server. And as you can see here, you now have a plugins option. So you can click on the plugin option and it will open up all of the different plugins that are available for you to install. And from here on, you can start searching for mods or plugins. For example, one mod that I use is Journey Map. So let's see, uh, as you can see, there is a no plugin for Journey Map. So you can go ahead and suggest your own. Uh, let's try another one, simple voice chat. I don't think there's going to be a plugin for this. Oh, there is. So you can go ahead and use uh, the simple voice chat plugin from Modrinth and uh, go ahead and install it. So let's quickly try and do that. So as you can see, uh, we have different versions here and different version of the plugin supporting different versions of the game. I want the latest version of the plugin, which is 2.5.30. And as you can see, it does support Minecraft 1.21.5, which is the version we're running. So go ahead and click on the install button. And uh, that's it. You've installed Simple Voice Chat plugin using uh, Modrinth and Paper MC on your Minecraft Eternal server. Now you can just head back to the server option, start your server, make sure that you've got the same installation of Simple Voice Chat on your local Minecraft installation, and you'll be good to go. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.